here for CAA football. The blitz as we continue. And he may go to this next Terrence. You're going to put yourself in a situation and win a lot of football games. We roll along to week eight in the 2012 CAA football season. And like we said earlier, it will be the 100th meeting between the New Hampshire Wildcats and the Maine Black Bears, a game that can be seen on the Comcast Sportsnet regional networks. Scott, a lot at stake in this one. There is a lot at stake. I think you take a look at where New Hampshire sits in the standings right now. They're still in the hunt for the CAA championship. For Maine, I think it's a matter of consistency. Uh, they got a great game at Delaware and follow that up last week with a tough one. And I think Coach Koshgrove wants to see some sort of consistency come out of his team. They're also at that four loss threshold right now and obviously one more loss and there's probably no playoffs for them. If they can win the rest of the way, there's obviously a lot at stake in that one given the fact that if you're going to win that many games in a row, the playoff committee is going to look at you as a contender. So uh, plenty at stake in this game. That game will be followed by on the Comcast Sportsnet Regional Networks as well with another game with playoff implications as the Jamie Dukes make the short trip to Richmond to take on the Spiders. Yeah, and talking about rivalries, I think some might consider this a rivalry only because it's within state lines of Virginia, but certainly look for Richmond and how it's going to rebound with the loss of John Lobb and now Michael Strauss coming on board as the quarterback. Also, one thing to look at storyline that maybe some people touch on is the return of Latrell Scott to Richmond, now a coach at James Madison. But more importantly, James Madison trying to stay at the top of the league and at number two now in the nation. Can they win and maybe hope for an Eastern Washington loss, maybe give the CAA a number one team again. Then later Saturday night, it will be the rematch of last year's thriller as the Old Dominion Monarchs, looking to bounce back after their first loss of the season to Villanova last weekend, will travel north to take on the Towson Tigers. Yeah, you look back at that matchup. Grant Enders to Tom Ryan on a fourth down play, uh, quite literally only trying to get a first down on the play, but Tom Ryan drags a handful of Monarchs into the end zone, and the rest is history. Towson kind of uses that as a springboard to uh, get them into the playoffs last year. But more importantly, I think you look at this and what Villanova was able to do to Old Dominion last week, um, almost as a blueprint now in terms of ball control offenses and Towson, the way that they approach this game. Certainly a humbling loss for Old Dominion. Uh, it's something to look forward to in terms of Terrence West. Can they kind of control that ball, keep Old Dominion off the, uh, off the field in terms of offense and maybe grind out a win? Now here's a look at the rest of this Saturday's lineup around CAA football.